Hi, Steph. Yeah, I'm here at Frederick Tuttle Middle School, one of three polling places today, and voters are filing in here as they have been throughout the day to cast their ballots on this third proposed budget. Outside Frederick Tuttle Middle School, signs and community members. Vote yes for sure. Vote yes. <laughs> urging voters to vote for or against the proposed school budget. The budget is unsustainable and budget increases are unsustainable. Inside, voters swayed both ways. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm very happy to vote, you know, in favor of the education for the kids. It's not about what it should be about, which is getting these kids what they need in the school and everything. It's about property taxes and this and that. This third proposal comes after two failed attempts to pass a budget for the school district. We'll probably have record numbers for our city turnout. This version totals up to nearly $49,270,000. It includes funding for new teacher positions as well as academic and extracurricular programs. We voted no originally, but it's gone on too long and the... Uh... I could care less about the, uh, the nickname. Voters overwhelmingly agree that the rebel nickname debate has affected this election. I think it's driven a lot of the negative sentiment, people who are attached to the rebel name. The issue clearly still on people's minds, someone even bringing an inflatable rebel to the polling place. I can't stand the divisiveness in the community and I want to see that stopped. I'm hoping today we'll stop that. The school district will continue operating under the current budget until a new one passes. If this one doesn't, voters will have to keep coming back until it does. I'd rather not, but I will. It's time to pass it. I will keep coming out time after time after time. Now the polls close at 7 o'clock tonight, so less than an hour from now, and volunteers tell me that the ballots will be manually counted, and they expect to know the results by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. For now, live in South Burlington, Keel Smith, NBC5 News.